Hey guys, welcome back to Miss Lauren Lee 11. These are the results. It is so hot today that I had to put my hair, pull it back into a ponytail because I just couldn't take the heat and the hair all over my face. But I'm just showing you guys, these are the end results with the Aunt Jackie's gel. And I'm really happy with the results. My hair feels soft and smooth and all the above. If you want to see how I use the gel, then go ahead and carry on watching. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi, guys, welcome back. I'm going to be using the Aunt Jackie's gel as my styler and then the Cantu Curl Activator as my leave-in. As you can see, my hair is freshly washed, but it's starting to dry, as usual, very quickly. Yes, guys, go ahead and subscribe today. You see that. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to be putting in the Cantu as my leave-in. And guys, this stuff is very creamy and it moisturizes a lot, but I am quite heavy-handed and you have to be very careful with the amount that you put in. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to go ahead and section my hair as I usually do, as you've seen in my other videos. As you've seen this numerous times, I'm just going to speed it up right here. Okay, so here's what the gel looks like. It has kind of a cloudy clear consistency. You can see that. And it kind of reminds me of the Shea Moisture uh, Souffle. Okay, so one thing I will say about this gel, it doesn't have great slip, even though it is slimy, it doesn't have a good slip. So I was trying to rake it through, but I thought it would be better if I just used the pray in hand method. So I wouldn't recommend this gel for raking guys, because it can rip out your hair potentially. So I'm just sectioning off my bangs just so I can style them separately. And I'm detangling with this paddle brush and my wide tooth comb. Reason being is because my hair is going to need to be a lot more detangled if I'm going to continue using this gel. Okay, so that's one side done guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and complete the other side and I'm gonna come back when it's done. Okay, so here's the other side guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to blow dry my hair. But I won't be using a diffuser today guys. The reason for that, I just feel that the diffuser takes a lot longer especially with a gel. I prefer to diffuse my hair if I have a cream or a butter in my hair. Okay, so this is my hair 100% dried once I've blow dried it, obviously. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the usual with my wash and go, just pick at the roots to get more volume and to get more thickness down the bottom of my hair. As you can see, I've got a lot of movement from this gel and it looks like my hair has that wet look type jerry curl as my husband would say. <laughs> but as I said guys, these are the end results and I am loving them. My hair's not stiff, it's soft. It has slight crunch, slight hold to it, but I love how it looks. And I hope you enjoyed it. 
there you go guys, I was getting ready to go to my son's sports day, so you know. <laughs> little slow motion action for you there. Hey guys, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.